Welcome to Kay's Cave. It's your girl Kay. It is your girl Kay. Here to save the day. Nah. <laughs> but anyway, um, found some stuff at Dollar Tree, y'all. Oh my God. Like, I'm not saying it's the best quality. It's probably not good quality or whatever the case may be. But some of the stuff I tried already, some of the stuff I didn't try. But it's like the stuff I tried was pretty tasty and it made me want to buy it again or it makes me want to buy it again um anyway um hmm but food is not the only thing that I find at Dollar Tree it's other things that I find at Dollar Tree that I'm like oh my god like I didn't know y'all had this or I didn't know y'all had that like I'll do that another day but Today, I'm just going to um, focus on the food that I, that I um, bought or whatever. Like, some stuff is not going to be a, a long haul or anything like that. It's just a quick, quick show and tell of what I bought or whatever the case may be. Um, but, um, yeah, like, some of these stuff, some of the stuff that I found, it was like, whoa, you at Dollar Tree? What you doing at Dollar Tree? Some stuff that I bought a while ago that I'm not showing now, like, these are just the things that I bought yesterday. And um, I just wanted to come in and show you guys. I know it's been a while. It's been about a month since I've been on here or whatever, but I'm still up and down, up and down, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to get this off like I'm at the same weight that I was when I first when I left you guys like this morning weighed in at 322.8 that's what it is I'm looking to go down past that but anyway um hopefully with the stuff that I got it'll work a little more um it'll hopefully I'll work a little harder because I've been I've been doing my thing, you know, I'm not gonna lie, but, um, anyway, um, let's start off with, let's start off with these, oh my god, these are string cheese, right, um, it was a three pack, okay, it was a three pack, and I ate one of each yesterday, and when I say these are so good, it's the Frigo brand. I don't know if you can see it. Frigo or Frigo. Frigo. This is the cheddar cheese. It come with a three pack for a dollar. And this is the mozzarella cheese. It come with a three pack for a dollar. And when I say these are so good, like especially this one, like I didn't think it would be this creamy, this good, this flavorful. Like, and I'm not just saying it, just to say it. Like, it's good. Like, I'm a string cheese person. I used to eat it back in the day. So, I know. Like, I used to get the Sargento. I used to get the Kraft. I used to get, you know, the Cracker Barrel and all that. Like, this is good. Both of these are great, but this is better. You know, I, I recommend these. And um, it's real cheese and everything like that. Because I know some 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 of the cheeses at Dollar Tree is not real cheese. Some of the, um, they're called, um, I forgot what they're called. But it's not worded as cheese. Some of them. They're called spreads or whatever the case may be. Um, but anyway, very good. Very tasty. Okay, that's for that. And I... I only bought those, but I plan on going back to get some more of those um, when I run out of these. I bought some deli-style turkey. Um, there's only about four slices in here. I didn't try it yet. I don't know how it's going to be, but I bought some of this. I bought two packs of these. Um, Bar S brand oven-style turkey deli style turkey um i feel like this is a good find um i haven't really had deli style meat in a while but i feel like it's a good source of protein in my opinion i found some of these sausages these breakfast sausages these right here 
I also have these right here. Some some maple sausages, but these right here is heat and serve. They're already cooked, pre-cooked or whatever. Um, made with pork and turkey. And they come with four patties in here. I like, I don't know, it's something about the shape of it. Like, you can make a sandwich or whatever. I haven't made sandwiches with them. I bought this, like, this was the second one that I bought. I bought one before. And they were pretty good. Just heat and serve in a microwave or whatever. And they're ready to go. These right here are not pre-cooked from my understanding. I don't think they're pre-cooked. Like, no, no, no. They're not pre-cooked. But anyway, um, I tried these already. I like um and they're pretty good. They they're fatty though, like more fatty than your average. Like you don't need to put no added fat or anything like that in the um in the pan or anything like that. They are um pork sausage links and um they come with eight in a pack. And I eat two at a time, which is about 140 calories. I always eat two at a time. This, when I had this, like I told you, it come with four in a pack. I ate all four that day when I had them. But I plan on eating like two at a time or whatever the case may be. But both are good. But like I said, these Farmer John ones, they're pretty fatty. They're, um, it, it creates like lots and lots of grease. Okay, you got to drain those things. Okay, and I also found this Farmer John bacon, classic bacon. Um, it come with four strips in the um, pack. I didn't try this yet, but I bought two packs of these. Um, classic bacon. Um, it is 60 calories for two slices it's saying two slices is the serving size and it's 60 calories and um i can't wait to try it i'm not eating today today is a fasting day for me um i had some water earlier not my electrolyte water just plain water i had but um I do want to try this bacon. Actually, I bought three packs of this. I bought three packs of this bacon. And um, I can't wait to try it. This, I don't believe is real. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's real cheese because of how it's spelled. Cream cheese spread. But I wanted to try it. Um, Plant-based and dairy. Oh, it says plant-based and dairy blend. But anyway, um, ingredients, milk, skim milk, palm oil, salt, and stabilizers. Cheese cultures, contains milk. Okay, I, I didn't try it yet, but I bought this because I had some um, frozen spinach in the, um, in the freezer. And I wanted to make like a cream spinach type of thing or something like that to have along with some fish. It's also, oh my God, there's some other stuff I, I saw at Dollar Tree, but I have some stuff in my freezer already that I got to use. Um, they also have the, um, the frozen fish. It comes with one filet per package for a dollar. But I want to try it so bad. Like, they have the cod filet, which I usually buy cod fish. Um, they have tilapia, but I don't eat tilapia anymore. Um, from when I heard it was, like, farm-raised and, like, not natural and stuff like that. But anyway, anyway, we're not going to get into that. But anyway, I don't eat tilapia anymore. But they do have tilapia filets if you're into that. And they also have the um the salmon the wild caught salmon fillets that i want to try so bad i want to try like i'm not that much of a salmon person but i remember back in the day when i made when i say back in the day i don't even mean that long ago i mean like maybe a year or two ago um i saw this recipe on youtube 
with um, ginger and garlic and mustard and olive oil, like a marinade. And like, I tried it on my salmon and it came out so good. It came out so good. Um, if I could find that video, I'll link it below or something like that in the description box or something. If I could find it, if I can't, I can't. But you know, just type that in if you could, like garlic ginger salmon or something like that. Just type it in. Maybe you'll find you'll find her as a woman. Um. Anyway, back to this this cream cheese spread. Um, I can't wait to try it. Like, I don't have anything to put it on. Like, I don't have any bagels or bread or anything like that. Um, I haven't been eating that, well, lately. So, I just threw out the bread that I had before. I, I just threw it out. I, I just, I was just like, you know what? Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I had rolls in there. I had bread. And I was just like, just get rid of it. Because I wasn't eating it anyway. But if I did eat it, I was making grilled cheese with it. With the bread. I was, like, I was faithful on my grilled cheese. Like, I, I love a grilled cheese. I wasn't even having it with no tomato soup. Or tomato. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Why well, keep moving that? But anyway, I had... I have tomato soup in here, but I could have ate it with that. Like, it's so much stuff that I want to make. Oh, and this, last but not least, definitely not least, is this, um, this prized possession right here. Rice, veggies, cauliflower. Cauliflower rice, okay? Um. This right here, let me see, how big is this bag? 10 ounce bag, 10 ounce bag for a dollar. I bought about two of them just to test them out or whatever, but I felt like this. Cauliflower rice is cauliflower rice or whatever, right? Um, The only time, the only time I've ever had cauliflower rice is when I had it in a, um, I made these cabbage rolls with um ground turkey cauliflower rice some seasoning stuff like that some pasta sauce like i put some sauce on it you know like your average cabbage roll right and like the texture and the taste wasn't there like i didn't taste it at all is basically what i'm saying so i don't know how cauliflower rice is like it was just like textureless and tasteless in my cabbage roll so i can't wait to try this make some like um maybe like some shrimp fried rice shrimp fried cauliflower rice or something like that um i got some shrimp in the freezer uh i'll just play around with it you know what i mean um, when I saw that, I was like, I have to get it. I have fruit from Dollar Tree in the freezer. I make my, I made a smoothie the other day. I made a nice smoothie. I got some peaches, some pineapple, some mangoes, um, some blueberries. I also have this fruit blend with, um, strawberries and mango and blueberries and stuff like that. But I didn't use that one. But, um... What else? Dollar Tree, they be having so much stuff. Like, I'm in there all the time, and I'm just finding new and new stuff. Oh, what I was looking for the other day, too, what I was looking for yesterday that they didn't have was almond milk. I, ch I, had, I bought almond milk. I bought one almond milk from there maybe about a month ago. And I was like, I want almond milk. I want to buy it again. They didn't have it yesterday, but... It was very good. I bought the unsweetened one, the original unsweetened. They have, they also had vanilla that day. They had sweetened vanilla. Um, that probably was it. They had the unsweetened and they had the vanilla. Um, that day I remember that, but um, yesterday they didn't have almond milk at all. That's something that I was looking for that they didn't have. 
which is cool. You know, I was just happy with um my protein shake. Like I have this um the Vita Course one is uh it's um a meal replacement shake. That's what it is. Uh, it's a meal replacement shake, and I was gonna um just use that you know with my almond milk or something like that or maybe have some cereal or something like that i have some cereal in there sometimes i have the taste of some cereal um oh and i also bought i forgot like because I, I just b took the stuff out the freezer and the refrigerator but i also bought some oatmeal i bought some um apple cinnamon flavored packages of oatmeal um, what I usually do is take a pack of oatmeal. I used to take two packs of oatmeal. That was back in the day. Like, I'm talking about back, back in the day. But now what I do is take one pack of oatmeal and then I add some plain oatmeal. I add, like, a quarter of a cup of plain oatmeal with it. And then I'll add, like, some, um, maybe almonds or walnuts in my oatmeal. And I put a scoop of protein powder in it with the water, with the hot water. <sighs> Pretty good. And sometimes I put some coconut shreds in there. Because I don't know what else to do with my coconut shreds. I bought some coconut shreds um, before. And I don't know what to do. Like, if you have any idea what I should do with coconut shreds, it's basically just, like, coconut pieces and no i'm not making the cake like basically what i did before i mixed it with i had some cocoa nibs or coca or whatever however you pronounce it coke i i don't know how to pronounce it but not the cocoa but <laughs> cocoa or whatever cocoa nibs and um what else i had I had that with the shredded coconut and I had some almonds and walnuts. Oh, and I had some goji berries, some um dry goji berries, um, you know, stuff like that. And I was trying to make like a, like um, I was trying to make my own trail mix, basically. That's what I bought it for. But then I was adding like a little bit of honey to it so it could stick together. It didn't come out right. Like the idea I had in my head didn't work out right. So now I got these shredded coconuts, like just coconut shreds that I just put in my oatmeal. You know, I don't know what else to do with them. You know, like what else? Like, can you put it in your cereal? I, I don't know if I would put it in my cereal. Maybe put it in a pancake. Like I showed you guys before, I had the protein pancakes. Maybe put it in a pancake. I don't know. I don't know. Would you put it in a pancake? Anyway, um, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. That's what I have here. This, like I said, this is the stuff that came out the fridge, came out the freezer. I really, really recommend the things that I said, like the sausages, the string cheese. Oh my goodness! Oh, and I also, I also buy eggs from Dollar Tree. I buy two at a time. Two. They come with the dozen of medium eggs, which is like your typical price. If you go to the deli, or like sometimes when I go to the store, I could buy them. Same thing, they're like a dollar fifty or they're three for three. Like I remember buying them three for three um at the deli or whatever, um, which is basically the same price, you know, a dollar at Dollar Tree for your medium eggs. Um, you know, they're not the large eggs, but they're the medium ones. I eat two of those with two sausages or two of those well, I will be eating those with the bacon. I didn't try this bacon yet, but more than likely when I try this bacon, I'll be eating all four. It come with four in a pack. And like I said, two is um two of them are 60 calories. So 
Um, yeah. Oh, I keep seeing all these damn messages on my phone. Anyway, that's about it. That's my dollar haul. That my Dollar Tree haul. It was short but sweet, and that's it. And that's all. All right. Um, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Um, at a later date, probably next week or whatever the case may be. Um, just to see how things are going with this, and um, yeah, I don't plan on eating today. Oh, and I bought some um some Pepsi Zero some um zero sugar pepsi they have diet pepsi yes but then they also have pepsi zero sugar and i bought the pepsi zero sugar one i don't know what the difference is between pepsi zero sugar and pepsi and diet pepsi but i bought the pepsi zero sugar from dollar tree it was like a liter or something like that um i bought that one and um i was sipping on that yesterday and it was pretty good i like it that's something else I bought too. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Love, peace, and hair grease. And <laughs> pray for me and I pray for you. Later.